Hey there, welcome back. So today we're going to talk about teamwork. Have you ever noticed that some teams consistently thrive while others seem to struggle no matter what the task is? Finding the secret sauce of collaborative success has become a pretty big deal as organizations have begun to realize that more and more people work together way more than they work individually. Recent research indicates that team dynamics are much more impactful to organizational success than individual employees that they hire. We now know that how the team interacts together can actually zap the effectiveness of the individual members. Finding good players is easy, but getting them to play together as a team is a completely different story. Google has actually studied the concept of team dynamics for years, and they've spent millions of dollars measuring everything from how often people eat together, and what they eat, and what personality traits actually foster collaboration, and what personality traits impact communication. In 2012, they tasked a team of psychologists, sociologists, <clears throat> engineers, and statisticians with a secret project called Project Aristotle. And it was just designed to find out why some teams were problem-solving giants while others struggled with the most basic tasks. Basically, they wanted to find out if collective intelligence develops from different types of collaboration that is separate and distinct from the intelligence of any one individual member. So they had a group of 700 people, and they um, divided them into small groups and assigned a series of tasks that required various types of collaboration to complete. Some groups were incredibly in innovative and successful, and others had a hard time cooperating, and they struggled to find viable solutions. The most interesting finding was that despite the fact that the tasks were very different, teams generally succeeded or failed across the board. And what that meant was that success had very little to do with the individual tasks and had everything to do with the way the team worked together. In addition, it didn't matter how many smart people were on each team. The group dynamics impacted the collective intelligence and success more than the intelligence of the individual members combined. Researchers drilled down into the successful groups to explore what characteristics they shared, and two things uh, rose to the surface. The first was the proportion of time that the members contributed to the tasks throughout the day. So on the successful teams, everyone spoke about the same amount. And the researchers called this an equality in distribution of conversational turn-taking. And all that meant was everybody got a chance to participate and contribute and can, uh, talk and discuss the problem. Conversely, on the poor performing teams, one or two people dominated the conversation while everyone else kind of sat back. In essence, those talkers eliminated a percentage of the brain power on the team. And the result was a decrease in engagement and a decrease in collective intellectual capacity. The second common characteristic among the successful teams was that they had a higher social sensitivity than their counterparts. Social sensitivity is just the ability to read the emotions of others, and it's a key component of social intelligence. Social intelligence is directly linked to performance on team-based problem solving. In the end, the researchers discovered that when the team dynamics were inclusive, accepting, and sensitive to individual members, groups were more successful. They identified this as a construct called psychological safety, and it's directly correlated to how well people learn and recover from their mistakes, as well as their overall level of engagement. When psychological safety is a cultural norm in the organization, in other words, when people feel like they're really part of the team that welcomes and values their contribution, the chemistry of their brain enables greater creativity, innovation, and problem solving. Interestingly, um, two, there are two byproducts of psychological safety that you might not know, trust and laughter. We share laughter when we trust, and laughter actually creates more trust. So both laughter and trust generate neurotransmitters in your brain that stimulate healthy brain function, including cognition. After all the time and money that Google spent on groundbreaking research, it turns out that achieving team success may be as simple as applying a few things that we learned in grade school. Take turns, 
Be nice, include others, work together, be empathetic, and laugh. Don't forget to laugh. Want to learn more about how the brain works and how you can make it work for you? Check out my book, Happy Hour with Einstein. And remember, life is always better when you share the good stuff.